Okay guys, we are doing something incredibly dumb here. We are going to try and cook some egg on the lens of this TN30. So, number one, I'm going to say, don't do stupid stuff like this. Number one, I have eye protection. I have a fire extinguisher here in case there is a fire. Um, there is a possibility this glass lens could explode when this egg hits it. Now, I made sure the egg was warm because... Uh, because uh, a cold going onto a hot lens could definitely make it explode. So what I've been doing is just kind of putting it upside down for a couple minutes at a time just to get the heat up because this light does take a long time to heat up. So uh, I did that and you can actually see it actually burned my table. This thing is one hot light. I mean it it's hot to the touch. Um, so this thing I think will definitely cook an egg but there's only one way to find out guys in a survival situation. If you want to cook an egg Will the through night do it? Well, we're going to find out in about 10 seconds. We're going to give this another second or two to warm up. We're going to shut the light off because otherwise we're not going to be able to see. And uh, we're going to put it on, see what it does initially. And then uh, if it doesn't initially cook it right off the bat, we'll turn it back on to turbo and give it a minute or two and see what the, uh, what the reaction is. So I think hopefully this is hot enough. We're going to turn it off, like I said. So we can actually see what's going on, and hopefully we don't blow up. All right, it didn't blow up. That's good news. All right, so as you can see, it is not cooking, but let's put that back in turbo. Give this a minute or two. We're actually going to move this away so you guys can actually see something here. Um, and uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll cut out and uh, just edit this back together when we're done. Because I guess you guys probably don't want to sit here and stare at me. <laughs> hey guys, it's time to review the Thrunite Mini TM30. Holy cow, guys, what a light. Not only is this thing so bright that I have nothing that even comes close to it to compare it to, but this thing is just literally the best performing light I've ever had. Period. End of story. So, I'm filming this now because we're actually going to do something a little crazy with this light. So, you're probably going to see this section at the end. So, this light might already be destroyed by the time you see this. So, bear with it here. So... Let's talk numbers. This thing takes four 18650 batteries. And uh, while I'm on the subject, it can take protected or unprotected. Right now I have uh, four Samsung 30Qs in there. It will take protected, but some of the bigger protected, like the Panasonic uh, NCR 18650Bs, are just a hair too big. So that is one thing to uh, pay attention to. It will take shorter unprotected, but some of the longer ones might be a hair too long. It has three XPL V6 LEDs hidden in there behind a glass lens and a orange peel reflector. You see it has a side switch. It's the sole means for turning on, off, and changing modes. Um, working voltage 10.5 to 17.5 volts. So you can get away with, uh, I believe, three um, 18650s in there because I believe they're hooked up in parallel if I am correct. So let's talk about the modes here. The low mode is uh, moonlight mode, 0.5 lumens, which will give you 98 days. Yes, guys, a third of a year. Low is 46 lumens, which will give you 123 hours, which you're talking like five days. Medium, 470 lumens for 15 hours. <laughs> Well, we got some ghosts here, guys. Some of my son's toys just keep turning on and turning on and turning on. I can't get them to, to stop doing it. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to have a little bit of a seance after this video is over. So low, like I said, 46 lumens, 123 hours. Medium, 470 lumens for 15 hours. High, 2,060 lumens for 190 minutes. That's three hours of 2,000 lumen light. Your turbo... 3660, 3660 lumens for two hours. You have a strobe as well, which will give you 234 minutes. The usual stuff, IPX8 waterproof standard, impact resistant, 
Um, beam distance on this 320 meters. You know, yeah, it's pretty, pretty impressive. And the XPL V6s are the most up-to-date XPL on the market, so you're not getting anything better. In fact, the XPL is probably, holy cow, guys. <laughs> Mr. Gavin's going crazy tonight. So, um, if, if you got kids, you probably know who Mr. Gavin is. Um, so there's the numbers. We've been through that. Now, performance-wise, I did quite a bit of testing on this. My usual stuff, testing brightness levels. And let's just put it this way, guys, it's off the chart. My, my methods for doing it are not calibrated for 3,000 lumens, so I can only guess that they're accurate. I measured lights that are around 1,000 lumens, and I get like 1,400 lux on my meter. This one here was getting, I think, like 3,800, so I definitely believe the 3,000 lumen output, no problem. The mode spacing is good. Everything seems to be good. Runtime, I ended up getting um, like 114 minutes. But that was using 30 Qs. They are a 3,000 milliamp hour battery. Of course, if you use a uh, 3,400 milliamp hour battery, you would probably get the 120 minutes that through night uh, advertises. Now, as far as brightness, what's this thing do? That's one of the big questions for me. How does a flashlight perform? A flashlight is no good to me if it's bright for 10 minutes and then cuts down to nothing for three hours. That's garbage. Now, I actually tested this thing for the whole two hours, multiple times using multiple batteries. And what I found, if I can find my page, is that this thing will actually maintain 90% of its brightness out to 60 minutes. It'll maintain about 75% of its brightness out to 80 minutes. And it gets around half at about 100 minutes. So you're still gonna have about 1,500 lumens at 100 minutes. So this thing is um, pretty incredible. And not only that, I can't even say for certain those numbers are accurate, because this light does have thermal regulation, and the brightness did dip a couple times because it gets hot. You gotta remember, you're putting out, you know, over 3,000 lumens. This thing does get pretty blazingly hot, and the light output did dim a couple times just due to the thermal regulation. But that's true it. They always have really good thermal reg I'm sorry about the toys, guys. I should have I should have taken care of that, but they're just like I don't know what it is. It's like five different toys are going off tonight. I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> like I said, I, I'm pretty sure it's a ghost. So as usual, Thronet has really good thermal regulation. They have really good reverse polarity protection. All the electronics are really good in these flashlights. That's why I always stand by them. So Let's get into operation. This thing's going to turn on with just a simple push of the button. And that will turn on and off. And then you hold in to switch modes. Oh, I'm sorry. I think holding in when it's off brings you to moonlight. Yep, there's your moonlight. As you can see, it's a very dim, like one lumen. And then turn it back off, turn it on. You can see you have a blue light on there. Holding it in, we'll switch between your modes. Low, medium, high. Double click brings you to turbo. Triple click, I'm sorry, double click to turbo. Another double click to strobe. So that's how your mode access is going to go. We'll let that camera kind of readjust for a second. And then I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk over, shut this lights off, walk over to the window and give you an idea what this thing uh, looks like in real life. Like I said guys, it's a great performer. It well held a ton of light for a long period of time. It's expensive, yes, but you know what? If you're looking for something for search and rescue work, hunting, something like that, a good reliable light that's gonna have a good long run time, but also have good polarity protection, good thermal protection, good low voltage protection, this light is it. I check this thing every time it cut out when the batteries were low. You don't have to worry about overdraining your batteries. You don't have to worry about a lot of those common problems that you have with lithium lights. So let's shut this stuff off. I'm experimenting with a new fill light, guys. So we'll give that a try and shut this down. I'm going to take a stroll over to the window, do the minefield of toys. It is my house. Ah, there we go. Okay, there you go, you can see. 
cycle through the modes for you. You see that's your low. Just gives you a nice little round beam with just a little bit of spill. Your brighter mode, of course, really brightens so you can see you can really the spill's very well defined. Really nice hot spot. And you can actually see, see those eyes out there? That is an animal. And he's gone. But yeah, if you saw the oh, I see him. No, he booked. So yes, yeah, so we had a little visitor out here. Which there he is again. See the eyes? That is a little furry friend. Not sure if it's a possum or raccoon, skunk, or whatever, but so very cool. There's our turbo. Very bright. As you can see, where you can clearly see what's going on in those trees. Even those trees back there, which are probably over 100 yards away, easy. This thing is uh, just massively bright. See my kid's trampoline. You can see the. All that, I mean, this thing just really cool. Look at that guy. He's just staring at me. <laughs> so, you can see this has great, great range. Even, well, you can't see it on the, but you can see this is a, just an awesome light for the money. I'm really just super happy. Really just astounded with how, of course, we're not focusing now. There it is. Through night mini TN30. There's that turbo. Hooey! How bright is that? All right, so we're back, guys. I uh, gonna shut this down. Refocus the camera. I am like officially blind, and we're gonna see. Did this cook an egg? I'd say partially. Uh, oh, that is hot. That is hot, 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 guys. Um, well, I'd say it's a partial cook. As you can see, the real thin part, but uh, it's definitely sunny side up, guys. So, you're through night, not going to cook an egg. Will it come close? Yes, but but not quite. That's uh, pretty impressive, though. Oh, it's hot. Oh, that is too uncomfortable to even hold, guys. Um, so, yeah. This thing, uh, like I said, at this light, you run this on turbo for a while and it will get super hot and the uh, temperature uh, protection will kick in. But you can see kind of here, it did cook a little here and it's really gelled up. It's definitely not runny like it was initially. So this is a, a partial success. We were able to cook a little bit of egg there with uh, the thermite. 